Now we'll begin to style the rest of the page, the favourites list, the main movie display area, and in the next video we'll do the footer. To target this H2 header inside the favs list class, we need in the style sheet dot favs list H2, another parent child selector. We'll give this a font size of 0.8m, bold font weight, and margins of 20 pixels at the top, 10 pixels at the bottom, and 5 pixels at the left. To style this anchor tag, that's all of this, inside the list item, which is inside the UL with the class of favs, we'll use ul.favs to target the unordered list, lia, and as before we'll give it the display setting of block so that the whole list item area acts as a link and not just the text. We'll give this a font size of 0.75m. We'll remove the default underlining that applies to a link again, with text decoration none. And we'll remove the default blue link colour as before, with colour black. I'll give each of the list items a bit more vertical padding than we gave to the users and admin list areas. We gave those five pixels all the way around of padding, but I'll use padding seven pixels, five pixels, seven pixels, five pixels. This specifies in order the padding at the top, that's seven, then the right, five, then the bottom, 7 again, and then the left. And the same order applies to margins. We go top, right, bottom, left. This will just make each list item a bit thicker and a bit more prominent than the users and admin menus. Let's save and just preview that. And there we are, we've got a bit more space. So far we haven't got any hover effect, so it doesn't look like a link at all. Let's select all of this and paste it back in, appending a colon hover for the hover state. So as before we'll have a colour of white on the text, and the same background colour that we had before, which was hash, a three two eight two four. Let's go and check. Yeah, refresh that. There we are. We got the right color to match that. Going on to the main movie display area, we can style both the movie list area and the movie single area with a border, but we don't want it to be one pixel solid red. We want it to be one pixel dotted gray. We'll give the movie list area, not the movie single area, a bit of space at the top with padding top 10 pixels. And then we're going to have a welcome message. That's going to be this welcome message. We've got it here. And we're going to style this with the class dot welcome. We'll give this a font size of 0.8m and padding all round of 10 pixels except at the bottom where we'll have 20 pixels. So this is going to be done with padding and then in the order top 10 pixels, right 10 pixels, bottom 20 pixels and left 10 pixels. Save and refresh. 
and that's better. Okay, so we've got the padding in here. And we'll give it a bottom border again of one pixel dotted grey. So inside here we've got a level 2 heading. So far we haven't styled that. So we target this with dot movie list h2, another parent child selector, and we'll give it the font size 1.3m. We give it padding of 10 pixels everywhere except for the top, which will have 5. So that's going to be 5 pixels on the top and 10 pixels right, bottom, and left. Go back and refresh. And that heading styled and indented with that padding now. And I forgot here the welcome message. We'll apply text to line justify to that. Here, the movie list H2 will use exactly the same later for the movie single. So put in a comma, copy it, and just change movie list to movie single. And then that'll match. And then we go down to this unordered list inside the movie list, which contains all these details, the figure, the figure caption, the title, the movie description, and the thumbnail image here. We'll make a bit of space at the top of the list, the very top of the UL here. With dot movie list, UL, padding top 20 pixels. And at the bottom of each list item, so that's at the bottom of each LI, using dot movie list LI, Padding bottom 10 pixels. Save and refresh, and it's opened up a little bit there, and we've got a little gap here. The level 3 heading in the movie list, which has an anchor tag inside it, is the title of each of the movies. That's this, and that's here in the final version. So this is dot movie list H3A. We'll make this just a tiny bit bigger than its default size with font size 1.1M. And again, I'm going to follow YouTube's color scheme. And I'm going to give it the hex color 438. B, C, 5. Save and refresh, and that now matches YouTube's colour. I'll give it a font weight of bold. And so they can give it margins. At the moment, I can't give it margins. I can't really control it. I'm going to give it a display setting of block. Now for the margins, I want 0.5m, so that's half a line, top and bottom. And I'm going to take away the default link underlining here. So I'm going to say text decoration none. But I'm going to give it a hover state. Hang on, I've been um, doing everything in the wrong place. Let's go back. Thumbnail, look at this. Thumbnail should be width and height. Correct all this, and all of this should be, of course, in the H3 area. So just watch that and go back. Sorry about that. So now we've got um, no text decoration here on the anchor. I've copied that. I'm going to give it the hover state here. And here we're going to give it the we're going to give it text decoration underline, and then we'll have a look at what we're doing. So save and go back and refresh. And now we've got 
bold, we've got that color, and we've got underlining when we mouse over it. We've already done the thumbnail images. They've got their width and their height, 178 by 100. Now we've got to do the fig caption. We'll specify that this is inside the movie list. Now at the moment our title and description can't um, appear alongside the thumbnail. We want them to appear along the th alongside like this. And the way we do that is to set this to display inline block. Save and refresh. And that now appears to the right. Now all this is at the bottom and we want it at the top. So we can align the title and description to the top with vertical align top. Save and refresh, and that pops up to the right place. And it's butting right up against the thumbnail. We want a little bit of space, so we'll give it padding left. Twenty pixels. And that's moved that over. Now for the movie description, I want the text to be smaller. It's the first thing. So dot movie list dot description. Because we all have the description in a different context in the single movie page, so we need to specify that this is in the movie list. So this font the font is too big. I think a font size of Not 0.75m would be about right. Let's go back and look at that. And that's better. It's going to need its um, width specifying, because if this was rather long, so it was a long description like that, then it's not going to fit properly. So we need to give it a width of 400 pixels. And then it'll fit inside the movie list area. And we'll give it text align justify, and that'll look better. And we'll make a little bit of space to the right of the movie description with padding right 10 pixels. So that's our main area done, the favorites and the main movie display area. And now we need to style the footer.